enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fitz. <laughs> See you, Sammy. Ready, hit. Oh, shit. Ready, fish. Oh. Huh. And the case. This. Billy. God. I. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. One way to find out. Great job! I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Now, there's a golden pie, but we'll learn about that later. Now, let's pick up the purple sea urchin. Hey, Luther, what word do the letters U-R-C-H-I-N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Rain failing. Ah! <laughs> You're so silly. They spell urchin, as in we found a purple sea urchin. Yeah, Luther. But being panic. Anywho, let's proceed to the festival. And here we are at the. Luther, Freddy, over here. Uncle Blenny. What the heck? in prison. Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Oh. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. Uh oh. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Petters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blanny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. And don't forget the player, Uncle Lenny. All right. So it seems our objectives have now changed. Let's let's take a look at the document real quick. If we're going to save the Founders Day Festival, we've got to find all three golden pipes and the stolen conch shell and discover the identity of the real culprit. Right. Our objective is to collect the three cover the stolen conch shell and figure out which of these six suspects is the culprit. So that is our inevitable objective. Let's get going and find that golden pipes, really. Gil 
then buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tooth ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Now this is the part. He takes different urges. Wow, it's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Let's take a look at this fortune. A fool and his monkey are soon parted. Sorry, that should be money, not monkey. Hairiness waits just around the corner. Whoops, that's happiness. Let's have Freddy read. Innocence has nothing to dread. Can't argue with that. Or can I? Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. Let's start here. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right, but how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. Oh, Luther. Hmm. This golden pipe must be stuck inside the organ. Well, here goes nothing. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. It looks like the orange sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. This seems to be working! Mm-hmm. Those purple sponges move the golden pipe farther away from us. That's the idea! Yep. And... Yes. Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? <sighs> ah, the sweet smell of success! Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoggy to pick up the scent. Right. So, let's do some things of a victory dance. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Uh. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. oh. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Uh, that shovel. This way to last year's ride, the legendary terrific tumble tubes. How's that thing? Classic shot out of the world. Look, Lou. 
Luther, the doorway's clear. Swell. Listen to some music, shall we? Under the water is the place for me. Under the water in the deep blue sea. Swimming round with my fishy friend. It's where the fun, it never ends. Let's go swimming in the ocean. I love to feel that in emotion. Under the water is the place for me. Under the water in the deep blue sea. Swimming round with my fishy friend. Swimming to and fro I always eat my seaweed Because it helps me grow Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear But for now I'm a little fishy Who is hiding under here Hey, let's do something funky Hold up down deep into the murky sea well, that's where you run into me I'm a cool catfish with an attitude I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool Come take a swim in the blue I'll make you feel so cool uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you very much <laughs> How did that go? Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me Don't go swimming too close to my door Down in the deep blue sea I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse Than his bark will ever be Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me Oh boy Last song when I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around at the bottom of the sea. Won't you come join me? Go at the bottom of the sea. Down here. That's not a. Terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Just down there. A work glove, Freddy. The label says it's extra padded for insulation and safety. This old glove might just come in handy. I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. This just opened that tube. Like in the previous Among Us Entertainment Classic game.
is something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm... It's a purple sea urchin! Good work, Luther! Let's... Hey, Luther, help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. Luther, help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Okay. Oh. If we can just keep the log moving, we'll be home free. Okay. Oh. We're really making headway. Keep pushing. And... This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. All right. And voila! bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Okay. Cozy. <laughs> First act. Come on, folks, let's hear it. Show them that you love them. show so far.
the game. And welcome back. Back. Oh. Чем 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 клапан пока прорывать будет его тут. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. 
Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet! We're rich, rich, rich! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this picture, it belongs to a needlefish with a long pointy nose, a mustache, and a couple of hairs on his head. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. <laughs> With the glove, we can get these pliers. A heavy-duty glove can protect me from that prickly plant! Luther. We've got the pliers. Now let's get that over to Here's your wallet. Is that the wallet of Pierre in your fin? Yes, sir. Ah, my beautiful one-of-a-kind wallet. Here's something from the great Pierre just for you. Just one orange urchin? Luther, don't be greedy. Thank you, Pierre. Yeah, thank you, Pierre. Anyway, let's go. After we've got a corn shirt, we can go back to damn the pellet. Here's the urchin, Sam. How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Look at that shim sham jimby jam. Um, horse feathers. It shouldn't be too hard. Hello, horse. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. Okay. This has let's look at it is red bread three orange stripes three blue stripes and two white stripes. Let's see if this is the right flag. Then Pierre will speak in. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Thank you, man. 
Mr. Feather, sir? Yes, that's me, Mr. Feather. You're not dressed like other folks around here. Where are you from? The Simply Delicious Meatballs World. I suspect our friend doesn't quite have the hang of using that phrase book. Hey, Freddy, let's go. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Here you go, yeah. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Ta-da! Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day! The critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. We need to be careful. Might as well play. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this off of Nadine. I wish I could get this metal nut off my tooth. Just hold still, Nadine. We'll have that nut off in two shakes of a guppy tail. I'm normal again. This might come in handy, but don't worry, Luther. You're still my favorite nut. Gee, thanks, Freddy. I think. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, Nadine's a happy nut. Cage with a go We can use this nut to hold the handle on. And got it. Good work, Luther. Yes. All we need is one more golden pipe and old. Nut. 
Bobby can nip out the thief. Let's go. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find a conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Right o, Freddy! Yikes! I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. We did it! We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy! Come on, Luther! We've got a bad guy to catch! Let's go! Uh oh. A jewel! Ooh. I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Oh no 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 Put the jewel back, Luther. Oh. Luther! Oh, no. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. Yep. Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Yeah. Get him, Stug! Ah, uh, Stupid Luther! Always being motivated. Alright. We enter the third okay. And then but how does this this look? Find something. So, let's backtrack. This point. Crystal. Go into this storage room. And there's a tool that'll help us. It's a chisel! I should hold on to that. It might come in handy. Ow. Ow. What is this game again? The color of the light changes. So, let's get that crystal. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. That might come in very handy. The crystal grew back. Yes, it... 
You don't have time to idolize these crystals. It must be fast, or else the thief will talk you. This crystal will This crystal looks like it will fit here. All right. Now, if you did on Crystal, I do. Idol would slam her hand shut. And have a crystal. Have the key. I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Yes, it is, Freddy. Yes. Yippee! I got it. All right. Time for a jailbreak. Hey, Luther! Yeah. I'm the busty out of this prison. Luther! I'm free! Let's put that jewel back. Yeah, not get it. Look, Lothar, the thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. All right. Pasha. If Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. It's all a complete fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this cave. Which means the thief is... Gil Barker! I knew it! Gil Barker! You're the thief! No, oh, that could have been anybody's cane in that bag! You haven't got a thing on me! Yow! <coughs> oh, no? <laughs> okay, so maybe you do have something on me? I confess, I did it! The festival is the one day of the year when nobody comes to the carnival. And if nobody comes to the carnival, I don't make any money. But what's money compared to the happiness that the festival brings all your friends and neighbors? Anyway, no matter what anyone else says to make it seem right, it's just plain wrong to steal. You know, there are winners and losers, and I sure don't feel like a winner. Yeah, you're such a loser. I'm sorry. Here's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> oh, and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, old grand exalted keeper of the conch. Yep. Gil was convicted of violating Penal Code 214 for excessive greediness. He was sentenced to 4,672 hours of public service silently working in the library. Case closed. The ending is different. If you were to say that Claw's the thief, Claw would have to wear a test hours for his poor behavior. He would have Air fish. Aideen would teach dead horse feathers to write up a new foreign language book. And Pierre Taylor would have to or act whale. Anywho, that's pretty nice.
させる。感謝。感謝。It really, really adds up the story and out. Still, as a detective. Now, maybe one day, find the police force and do some serious cases. Yeah.